Question 10C was related to 10A and what it asked you to do was a journal entry to do with inventory valuation and what you did is in question 1 um, or part A sorry 10A you have to figure out in this case the product cost and the net realizable value of three types of coffee machines and for each one you figured out a cost and a net realizable value and what you did was you valued the particular model at its lower out of product cost and net realizable value so in this case the queen was valued at 450 the prince was valued at 190 but the whiz actually needed to be written down to its net realizable value of $60 so the first thing you're asked to do was do two general journal entries so the first one is for a stock write down. So what we did was we needed to write these uh, units down. Um, oh, sorry, in question A, you actually figured out what their value was. The total value was 29,550. What you needed to do here was for the model that you were going to write down, you needed to figure out well if there's 60 units at 6,000 at 100. Sorry, that's 6,000. That's what they're currently valued at. But we need to write them down to 60 units at $60, which is 3,600. That must mean we're going to write down 60 units at $40 each for a total of 2,400. So to do that, I do a debit to an expense called stock write down, and I do a credit to stock control for the same amount. The second entry I needed, it asked for two. Well, that was all to do with the stock loss. What we can see is again, we figure out the which value we're going to use. We use product cost for the queen. We use product cost for the prints, but we use net realizable value for the whiz. Well, the issue here is, do I, um, for what this particular item here, I've actually got a discrepancy between the stock card and the stock take, whereby I've lost two units. I should have 32, but I've only got 30. Now, the other units are fine, but for this one, I need to uh, write a, a stock loss of two units and I'm going to use the lower out of cost and net realizable value. So in this case, I will pick the $30, um, oh, sorry, the 30 units and I'll value each unit at $190. So two times um, the stock two units missing at $190 is $380. In terms of a journal entry, I debit the expense. So I debit the stock loss and we'll do a credit to stock control. The marks were quite straightforward, one mark for every journal entry. And looking at the results, 38% of the state got zero. We're getting towards the end of the exam now, so I think if you had more time, the result would be much better on this question. At the top end, not many people got four out of four. Um, yeah, remember there is a little cheat here. If you can remember the journal entries, but you can't remember the actual, or can't calculate the numbers, you can just write the same number twice and get one out of two. The examiner's comments, there wasn't any specific information here, so maybe just go back and check uh, other exams where there's been stock loss and stock write-down questions.